of course, we don't know everything about Excel, no matter how often we use the software. And we do need help from time to time. The traditional help shortcut key, F1, is still in effect. Also, as you work with Excel in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a question mark reminding you how to activate help. Now, there are any number of reasons, of course, for getting help. Here's something called AutoSum. You see a description of it, but you want more information. So what might you do? Click the question mark or simply press F1. It takes us to the Excel help screen. Now, first of all, when you look at this, you might see some other features that get your attention first. And without going through every one of these, you might go back to Learn Excel Basics, keyboard shortcuts here, tips for tablets, and so on. But if we're interested in this auto sum, we might just type in auto sum and enter and be alerted to the fact that there are quite a few references to it within this help system here. Maybe we'll just start with the very first one here. Use auto sum to sum numbers. And so we see an extensive description of what's going on here, quite a few graphics. Many, many times this gives us the behind the scenes look, the depth that we need on this feature or that feature. We also might want to print this. Maybe this is really useful information here. Why not just print it? There's a handy print button. So at different times when we need more depth, if we need on-screen help, we can get to it. Recognize that already the ribbon system has help built into it in a certain extent. If you're about to use a particular function or formula in Excel, you might click on the formulas tab and say, well, I want to use one of the math functions. I think it is. Click the drop arrow here. As we slide over some of these choices here, we'll just pause. There's a description there too. Recognize as part of the help system, a choice called tell me more. So we can get into the help system this way as well too. Recognize, too, that the help system also alerts you to some online resources. It's extensive. It's available to us at all time by way of the F1 key or the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of our screens.